Now to our Decision 2013 coverage on Wavy News 10 Midday. This is the place to be for all of your election coverage all day long. Virginia is in the national spotlight today because of it's one of two states electing a new governor. Ten on your side in Virginia Beach, where some of your neighbors hit the polls early. Voter turnout is expected to be lower than last year, which of course was a presidential election. And there are reports of steady turnout in the northern part of the state so far. The Democratic candidate for governor, Terry McAuliffe, voted early this morning in McLean. McAuliffe has led in a number of polls since the summer. He thinks Virginians will get out and vote despite the prediction for a low turnout. And he credits his strong campaigning in neighborhoods across the Commonwealth. I'm very proud of our campaign. Uh, we have knocked on uh, 2.5 million doors this year, uh, which is unprecedented for a Virginia governor's race. McAuliffe's main competitor, Republican Ken Cuccinelli, was also out early this morning to vote. TV crews caught up with Cuccinelli at his polling place in Noakesville, which is outside of Richmond. He told reporters a lot of voters are still showing up to the polls undecided, but what matters is they're showing up. We hope a lot more Virginians show up and vote as well. And uh, we're hopeful that at the end of the day, a long day, I'm sure, uh, that we're going to be able to have a great victory party down in Richmond and then plan the next four years. The third party candidate, Robert Sarvis, votes shortly in Alexandria. And this is final video of the candidate here at Hampton Roads yesterday. The Sarvis has been hovering between 8 and 10 percent in recent polls.